Coordinate transforms, a very important thing whenever you are working in three dimensional spaces. In robotics, specifically in ROS, if we want to define any structure, robot structure and a link from this point to this point, we require transforms. Transforms are really important for kinematic applications and state representation, two common things of robots. In this lecture, let's take a look how transforms are going to shape our robot creation. First, we will go through a static publisher of transforms. Then we will move towards Ross Wiki tutorials about adding a transform, dynamic transform addition. The third thing is going to be creating a dynamic transform for a dynamic transform. From this lecture, I hope you will get very good at transform because transforms are very important in ROS and specifically when we are going to be dealing with swarms, transforms are going to cause a lot of problem if you don't have the basic understanding. Let's get into it. Let's create a package inside of our workspace. As we are going to be learning about TF2, so TF2 or we can just say transforms standard messages i think there might be some package of the same name so i'm going to say transform wiki standard messages and raw spy that's done let's go to our workspace main directory and perform cat can make inside of our transform wiki we are going to create a new folder launch as we will be creating launch files and there are some nodes i am going to be copying some nodes out of the service package because they are executable so i don't have to make them executable again to some extent things are ready uh, for our work let's take a look into wiki and on ross dot org wiki ros2 tutorials you can see we have workspace setup that we've already done tf2 introduction tutorials you can go inside of it and get the in-depth understanding we have static broadcaster simple broadcaster listener frame and other two as well time controlling i am only interested in adding a frame in adding a frame there are a lot of things this is one frame and we can connect to other two frames but that doesn't make sense until we see what is happening so if we open up this terminal run raw score inside of it open another terminal ross run tf2 ross and here i am going to say static publisher of the transform this is simply a transform publisher pressing double tap it does not provide me the argument it requires but they are role pitch yaw and xyz i think six are complete now it requires a transform for uh, the parent and the child you have to understand it in this manner let's say i say the name of the link is parent and the name of the link is child or i should say child link and parent link if it is not making any sense it is going to in just a minute when we visualize it in our viz. in our viz, let me add this and i am going to run it press enter the fixed frame has been set to map so i'm going to change it to parent link you can see there are something that is not readable and it has appeared in our ways in tf topic so i am going to stop this clear it and again run the same line providing a transform but this time it is going to be one in x so it is going to then make sense so parent link is fixed in rvis and we have a child link that is one in x away if i stop it and run it with one in x and one in y and one in z make it confusing so let's say this one in x and one in y you can see one in x and one in y now we can add one in z as well that will make more sense if i show you in 3d you can see one in x one in y and one in z to some extent you can now see Publishing of the transform is related to connecting two frames with each other. One can link to the other with a transform. That's the basics of it. If I start to publish more transforms, like let me first bring it down in 2D so things get easier. In transform, I am going to add another transform in the chain and that is going to be Lukman. And I am going to say it's only 
one in x from the child so you can see a tree sort of structure is added and if i say now add something inside of lukman and other transform is going to be youtube it is going to be 2 in x so you can see another transform has been added so base link child link lukman and youtube to actually understand it what is happening the best way is to visualize it through rvis so there is another better option rqt if i press enter you can see no tf data received if i reset it okay it requires continuously publishing of tf data because i have stopped all the nodes of tf publishing that's why they are not available so if i press reset i think they all will be deleted because they are not currently being published okay so let's solve this problem of publishing multiple transforms let's close the simulation and publish some more transforms and keep them being published ross run tf2 ross and static publisher 0 one zero zero xyz roll pitch your to be zero from world to robot base and that's going to be our first transform i am going to be copying this command and i am going to be running multiple terminals for this command it's going to be from robot base to wheel and that is going to be 0 0.5 not in x and that's going to be from robot base to wheel or i should say it's going to be l wheel there is going to be a similar transform from this parent and it is going to be r wheel it is going to be on negative of robot base if we take a look into r wheel now and add a transform into it and make it fixed frame to be world we can see from world there is a robot base with the left wheel and the right wheel both are in opposite places if we take a look from here they are working so robotics is built upon these coordinates in this manner robot base has a transform left wheel and right wheel have their own transform connected to the motors to represent the motion and things work in that manner for example if i want to look at the tree i would go into ross run tf tf echo tf is the package tf echo the older implementation there is a node that provides us opportunity to create or look up through the transform from world to lv let's say it is going to look at to the whole tree and the tree is going to make sense if we open up the rqt graph and uh, through this rqt graph i have already added the plugin of visualization and tf tree you can open up you can see there is a world there is a robot base with the left wheel and a right wheel transform being published okay static transform publisher name is that so you can see complete rotation matrix from world to right and left wheel can be obtained this translation and this rotation matrix can be obtained with just one command by just defining it that makes life of a lot of robotics people easier in our ways you can see you have multiple transforms world is the parent then comes the second one then third then fourth then fifth transforms the tf2 library and the tf library in ross is utilized to calculate transform for the unknown relation between frames as well what i mean by that for example you have a transform world that is a frame one let's say and there is a chain of frames and then you come up to the frame number 20 so they are connected with each other frame one is connected to frame two two to three three to four but with the help of look up transform in ross transforms you can find frame one relation to frame number 20 and that is very useful in robotics applications coming up next is a dynamic transform in robotics we cannot have things statically wheels are moving everything that is actuated is a dynamic transform producer so we are going to be looking at very interesting application now dynamic transform and a dynamic transform will have a dynamic child transform as well it is interesting so you have to think about transforms in broadcaster and listener terms it should not be like publisher and subscriber but broadcaster and listener so let's take a look here tf2 tutorials adding a frame using python we can use c plus plus as well so in python adding a frame we have two things a broadcaster and a listener but i've not gone through it i've just utilized static publisher of the transform if i toggle out these 
numbers and I copy this whole code and a lot of things got copied selected in the terminal I have this additional client I am going to say tf2 static br and I'm going to create a copy of it and I'm going to say it's not copy and it's not static it is dynamic let me tell you what that means I have this code which is of static publishing of through broadcaster and I have a moving or I can say a dynamic transform broadcast I'm going to bring that code here let me fix the Python interpreters and to some extent things are working they wrote the code in a different sense they were dealing with turtle bots and they named it in that manner so let's run these and see what happens although the instructions are provided let me close all of these raw score ross run my package name was transforms transforms wiki and i have tf2 static broadcast let me run it i want rvis as well and i want the tf to be visualized and i want it to be turtle one turtle one is not that appropriate so i will stop the static broadcasting i am going to name it to be world and this to be robot one that is more representable so i am now going to run the broadcaster again rviz is already running let's keep rviz on one side and we are going to be keep on looking at things world and we have world enter robot one if i bring this terminal on the other side and we are currently running this static broadcaster what's inside of this dynamic broadcaster the parent or the frame id or the header is world you can call it to be thing that it is going to be connected to that is the world which is stick to the ground here because it is fixed i am going to say this is robot 2 this is going to be really interesting let's run it and then i'll go through this code okay i am going to say this is a static broadcaster ross run transforms wiki tf2 dynamic broadcaster it is going to be amazing let's open a rviz and you can see there is a frame that is continuously moving let me pause it and obviously this is going to be frame of robot number two let me unpause it and it is going to be continuously rotating in circles around this world okay well, let's take a look into the code inside of the code interesting thing starts from this point ross by rate frame id parent child and the thing here is seconds are generated from ross by time and they are scaled with the help of 3.14 value or the pi value then that seconds are sent to the message or i should say transform broadcaster object which is generally a transform stamped object and i am going to be filling the values out of it obviously you can always get the values you want to fill through ross ross message show it is from geometric geometric messages transform stamped press enter and you'll find header sequence and all that stuff that is written here you can find out that detail they have written in a very different way transform header with the timestamp and this is basic mathematics that if you want to make a point rotate in a circle you give the sign of the values in the x and cause of the values in the y the vector decomposition if you have gone through any 2d mathematics theory the next thing is its rotation although i think it is going to be quaternion but one is working fine this is the radius of the circle to my understanding let me reduce it and i am going to stop it and run it again broadcaster has been started to yes that was radius so radius has been reduced dynamic transforms are looking really amazing i want to enter the dynamic transform and then we'll wrap up this video it's it's going to be really amazing it's going to be dynamic brr let's say it is going to be from robot 2 to wheel and that is going to be of more smaller radius to me it seems to be going to be really interesting for your understanding i'm just doing it that i want a rotating frame around a rotating frame that makes more sense in robotics projects ross run transforms wiki and tf dynamic this but before running it you have to make sure that this is of not the same name i'm going to say this 
is the name of the node two nodes with the same name can never execute on ROS until you make some small changes pressing enter and this is going to be interesting if you can see there is this rotation of this specific transform robot 2 and there is a wheel rotation that is happening around that robot if we take a look into different sides of this rotation and they are looking really interesting they might seem to you that they are static but the point here is one is rotating around the other if i stop it the transform has stopped and you can see it is just moving i'm going to reset it and that's it for the dynamic transform this is the only thing that you need to understand to start building the robot that was all from my side about transforms in ROS what you can do in further understanding through TF wiki tutorials that is looking up on transforms in time what were the transform at this specific point what were the transform at that specific point and you can get every information you want about your transform or URDF structure but I will stop here because I will explain more about transforms in Swarm's lectures because transforms make a lot of confusion when we are working with multiple robots. That's the point where we can actually understand it by having a problem. For now, I think this information is enough to build a robot and start moving it in our simulation.